Hi there. So thank you so much for joining, guys. We are here behind the scenes at School of Rock, and we're going to be finding out about some of the characters. So hello, can you introduce yourself and tell me about your character? Hi, my name's Daisy, and I play the role of Katie, the bass player. And she's very sassy, um, but at the beginning of the show, she's quite... Uh, not very confident, but then she grows in confidence as she picks up the bass. Brilliant. And what has been your favourite thing about the show so far? My favourite thing about the show is seeing the audience's reactions at the end of the show and seeing how happy they are. And I, I especially love seeing the little kids because it reminds me of when I first saw the show in the West End, which is what inspired me to play the bass. Oh, lovely. Well, thank you. Um, and so you. are you able to introduce yourself as well and tell us a little bit about your character? Hi, I'm Harry. I play Zach Mooneyham, the guitarist. And Zach, at the very start of the show, He's like Katie, very not confident, and his dad isn't listening to him. But very near the end of the show, uh, he connects with his dad and he becomes really confident at, with his guitar skills and everything else. Brilliant. Well, that sounds like quite the storyline. Um, I was wondering as well, what is your favourite part about the show? My favourite part is definitely making new friends in the adult and the kid cast. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. And we'll come to you now as well. So if you can tell us about your character, the main character, and what your favourite part is about being involved in the show. Yep, of course. So my name's Jake Sharp, and I play Dewey Finn, who is the Jack Black character in the movie. Um, and he is like a kind of a bit of a loser, a bit of a failing rock star, um, needs to get some money, so he like intercepts a phone call, pretends to be a teacher at this very, very prestigious school where these kids go, and he teaches them how to be kind of like rock gods and how to compete in the battle of the bands so um he's never shy like these kids he's just full of full of confidence the whole way through unlike me who's very very nervous <laughs> oh well I, I mean i'm so excited to see the show later today it looks fantastic but what is your favorite part of the show do you think uh i think I have two points that I think are the coolest bits. There's one in, in Act 1, where it's the first time, it's called You're in the Band, it's the first time that Dewey teaches the kids to play their instruments. It's the first time that they get to pick up like rock instruments and they play live. And that's always amazing. You can feel like the energy change in the theatre. Um, and then the end, like as in the Battle of the Bands, not to ruin it, it turns into a bit of a concert vibe, and that is just mind-blowing. We have to kind of remind, I have to remind myself that all the noise that's being made is just from us three, plus two other, <laughs> two other kids playing instruments. Um, wow. And it's, yeah, it's just fully us live, and it's, it's nuts. They're very talented. Oh, it sounds incredible. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. I'm so excited to see it. And you all look incredible with these instruments. Thank you. They look so cool. Brought Not going to lie, I'm jealous. <laughs> I wish I had one. <laughs> <laughs> Take one with you. <laughs> I might do. I might fit me bag. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. Thank and thank now you. we're going to be having a little chat with um, Michaela, I believe. Hello. So could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what your role yes, is? Yes, of course. So my name is Michaela and I'm the dance captain on this show. So I'm not as cool as these guys. I can't play instruments like <laughs> they can. Um, but I'm responsible for looking after the little kids and some of those big kids like Jake over there. Uh, so basically, um, I'm with these guys from the beginning of rehearsal. So I rehearse them into the show. Um, and then here throughout the entire tour, we're just making sure, you know, they keep knowing what they're doing. Um, we move weekly as well so we've been touring for almost a year now so um, wow. this is our first day here at the Empire which we're loving um, but we have 42 children all up we have seven teams of kids and they rotate every single week so we get these guys in the morning basically they come onto the stage I make sure they're nice and safe and then we do the week so that's basically in a nutshell what my job is wow it sounds like a lot to do it is it is <laughs> lots of kids lots and lots of kids but they're wow. amazing very inspiring oh I imagine there's such like a, a family vibe throughout the show. Yeah. With there being so many people involved. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, for me, I'm from Australia, so I came over here to do this. And so it, it is, it, it is this massive family. We're all sort of in it together, which is great. And the kids obviously add just this amazing um, energy week in and week out. So it is, it's a lovely family vibe. Brilliant. So I believe you're going to show us a little bit behind I the scenes. I am. Now. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour. Um, so come this way. 
So our show, so this floor that we're using here, this too is with us every single week. So our wonderful stage management, this guy right here, who's uh, <laughs> hiding behind the curtain, Mr. Tom French. Hello. He and his team are responsible for touring this with us every single week. So they'll pack all this up into these big trucks and basically bring them around. Um, so Tash in the corner here, she's also our deputy stage manager. We've got Ben as well. So Tash calls the show from this corner here. So basically she is God to us. She <laughs> controls everything with that little headset and tells everybody what's to, what to do and keep Keep us all safe. Right, so some of the cool things, we have our props trolley. So again, these props come with us um, every single week. They're all the same. So lots of things like iPads for the kids. We've got the double gulps. We've got the Starbucks. Um, also, I mean, I think we've said this as well. The kids play their um, instruments live. So we've got extra little things like these recorders. We've got the drumsticks and stuff as well. There's so many different props here. There are, there I are. Mean, even down to just drinks. Yeah, and it's That's it's all incredible. so specific wow. as well, which is which is really really cool. Um, over this way, so in the show we've got two drum kits which are live. So the one that was in the back just before we saw that one there, and then we've got this one here. So our adult company they also play these, but they don't play them live. The only people that play them live are the kids in the show. So we've got the two drum kits which um, yeah. we rotate through. Um, desks as well, obviously we are in a school, so the desks are quite integral to building sort of the world of School of Rock. Um, our young actors, not only do they sing, dance, act, um, play instruments, they also help us um, set the scene a lot. So they are responsible for moving things like these blackboards here, the desks, we've got these big sliders that come on and off as well. The kids do a lot in this show, they're very, very busy all the time, so they help do that too. Um, Rock and roll vibes. We've got our dive bar, which you'll see in Act 2, Miss Mullins. Um, she has her big number from this beautiful rock bench. Again, so much detail. We have all of this really stuff is. in here. Yes. Yeah. Wow, the attention to detail. This set has been on insane. quite the journey as well. Not only has it done the UK, but I believe it has also done China and all of Australia, wow. New Zealand as well. So, well, it's very those, well traveled. Yeah, definitely. All those little attention to details the stickers and yeah. like the artwork graffiti it really helps you know build that it atmosphere. does it does yeah the world is really really specific which is really really yeah. cool um again lots of little chairs that the kids use as well so they'll help to build the scene and the set and everything with these ones here through here as well i believe we've got some costumes all the fun stuff <laughs> so these are where um, the male ensemble, so mostly our parents, um, will get changed. In here, we've got some of our Dewey costumes, which is pretty cool if I can get some of them out. Now, if anyone has seen the Jack Black film, he has quite a specific kind of he does. costume, doesn't he? He does. I mean, it is very eccentric to, um, to Dewey. I mean, he yes. isn't your typical kind of teacher because he's not a teacher at all. Um, so some of the things that he wears, he kind of, you know, it goes into his wardrobe and just pulls out a whole bunch of random stuff. <laughs> um, but that's some of those there. Again, all around here. So our adults um, in the show, they cover about five or six parts so they're constantly in here changing parent, teacher, um, some of them are in a band as well. So they're constantly changing to sort of help us build that world as well. Um, what else have we got? So all of our wigs as well. We have quite a few wigs on the show. Um, and this is our little wigs tray Now I here. imagine wigs is probably one of the more difficult aspects. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And again, um, like I was saying, with them changing their costumes, the adults, they also have to change wigs as yeah. well. So this is one of our um, dads. He will pop this wig on here. Very so realistic. They're amazing, aren't they? They're Very so realistic. beautiful. The wigs on this show are glorious. I actually don't know how many we have, but we've got quite a few, and they're all... Very beautiful. So we've got two people in our wigs department which um, help look after that and obviously they help with the kids' hair as well. The kids are the only ones that don't wear wigs in the show. Um, over here, this is my favourite. So this is where all of our instruments hang out. Ah. So we've got, in the show we've got about 15 guitars that we use all up and they're just the ones that we have on stage. Um, we'll have backup ones as well. So this one here, you would have seen Harry carrying it. This is one of our Zach guitars. We've got three of these. Yeah. So we have backups just in case. So one, two, three. Um, same with the bass as well. And then in the pit, so our adult band, they also have five guitars as well. So I think we've got over 20 guitars that Quite we use in the show. Guitars. Just a couple, just a yeah. couple, yes. Do you ever um, accidentally 
go through the guitars and need backups. We do, we do. <laughs> we've we've had a couple of like real rock god moments where yeah, you know, I they break. If you really get into a scene, you know, there's going to be a, yes. a few. We have, know, to, yeah, incidents we have to remind bizarre. Jake that he can't break them. He can't have his big rock god <laughs> moment at the end of Teacher's Pet and smash them on the ground as much as he wants to. But, yeah, we're very lucky. They're all very expensive, very beautiful guitars. So we're very they lucky are. to have those. Um, this is Jen. She's part of our sound department over here. So there are um, microphones. She's just getting them ready for tonight's show. Again, we have another props trolley over here. Well, More I've props. spotted the popcorn. I know, and our lucky actor Richard Morse <laughs> gets to eat the popcorn every oh. night. They put some in there for him, so he gets to eat. Oh, I'm very. A I know. Oh, I'm so yeah. jealous. I mean, you get like an after dinner snack. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. So again, more, we've got more instruments that the kids play as well. We've got the cymbals, all the percussion instruments they play live as well because they're super duper talented. They can do everything. <laughs> And then down in this corner here, we've got some more of our props. And then these things here, these big panels here, these are the, what we call the sliders. So they also help build our world and the kids help move those as well. So they're about, you know, yeah. five times the size of these kids, it's but they still move to, them. To see how the set can really change. You Absolutely. Know? I'm always amazed and mesmerized by yeah. that whenever I come see a show. And one of the really cool things when you come and see the show are the transitions between the different scenes and how quickly it sort of happens. It's almost, yeah, it's almost definitely. like magic. You blink and then, you know, 15 people have oh, created yeah. this new new sort of world that we're in which it's, is it is just amazing yeah how quickly it can change and become an entirely different set yeah it's very cool it's very cool <laughs> what else if we head back around this way so if you can see just through there that's another one of the drums that we use live so this big piece of set just at the back there this is another one of the cool sort of like magic of theatre moments where that rotates and usually on the back we'll have another piece of scenery that will come forward oh, that's so interesting. yes wow. our crew move that so we've got an amazing crew that's sort of responsible for doing that really big one there but they'll keep rotating that and different yeah. bits appear on the back of that which is really really cool well, it has been lovely talking to you. To Thanks find for out coming. All about these behind the scenes little, you know, tidbits. It's yeah. been so cool. Thank Definitely you. Definitely, like a few things I didn't even really know. Yeah. So, all thank the you details. very much for that. You're so welcome. Thank you for tuning in.